Now guys, if you see this image, I have put two fingers midway between the pubic bone and the hip bone. Okay, pubic and the hip bone at the junction of leg, lower limb and the trunk. Okay, so we put the two fingers and try to palpate for the femoral pulse for 10 seconds. Not less than 5 seconds, not more than 10 seconds. Now, the next action would depend upon whether I can feel this pulse or not. Whether I can see breathing, our pulse and feel the pulse or not. In infant, instead of break, instead of femoral and carotid, we feel for the brachial pulse. So, in infant, which pulse we check? We check the brachial pulse. How do we check? What are the steps? Well, first see this image. Just see the position of two fingers. Right, it is on the medial side of the arm, midway between elbow and shoulder joint. So we place two fingers on the inside of the upper arm, midway between infant's elbow and shoulder. Okay, we feel for the pulse for at least five, but not more than ten seconds. If I definitely feel the pulse in infant and children, we have to remember one very important thing: we have to also count for the pulse, because if pulse is less than sixty per minute. And if there is sign of poor perfusion in the child and infant, we consider it as no pulse and start with chest compression. So not only I have to palpate the pulse, I also have to count the pulse, right? So this is we feel in infant. Now what would be my next action? The next action would definitely depend upon the presence or absence of pulse and breathing. So if both pulse and breathing are present, we will monitor the patient and wait for the emergency responders to come. If victim is not breathing but has pulse, we will provide with rescue breath, breathing every two to three minutes, uh, two to three seconds, and check for the pulse every two minutes. So every two to three seconds, I will provide a rescue breath and check for the pulse every two minutes. And if both are absent, I will start with CPR. I will start with cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So this is how I establish the infant and child in cardiac arrest by assessing their pulse and breathing. So there are few basic differences of, of between adult and pediatric and infant. There is a difference of the pulse and that is in adult we have to palpate only and only carotid. In pediatric, carotid or femoral and in infant only brachial. And in pediatric and in infant we also have to count the pulse. Right? So, next action would depend upon whether the pulse and breathing is present or not. So, this would be followed by a small video in which I will show how to palpate the pulse in child and infant and how to establish cardiac arrest in them. So, let us talk about pediatric resuscitation. So, let's say I have come across a child who is not responsive. So, how do I check responsiveness in a child and how do I establish cardiac arrest in a child, that child is in cardiac arrest, okay. So how do I do it? So how do I check the responsiveness in the child? For the older child, for the older child, I can go for the shoulder tap and loudly I will try to call the child, open your eyes, open your eyes, bache aankh kholo, bache aankh kholo in local language. For infant, normally it is good to go for a heel tap. So we go for a heel tap. In pediatric, we go for shoulder tap. And in infant less than one year, we go for heel tap. So this is how we check the responsiveness. So let's say this child does not have any responsiveness. Child is not responding. So how do I establish the cardiac arrest? The child is not responding. What I will do, if it is in front of me, the child has become unresponsive, immediately I will call for help and then I will start the resuscitation. But if it is unwitnessed, then first I have to establish it is cardiac arrest and then go for and call for help. Because oxygen reserve of the child is less and mostly in children, they go into the cardiac arrest because of the respiratory cause. So already before going into the cardiac arrest, the oxygen content of their blood is less. So we have to start resuscitation in them and then call for help in unwitnessed, unresponsive child. So let's say this child was un, has become unresponsive, I have established unresponsiveness. Now, how I will establish cardiac arrest in this child? How do I feel? If it is a small children or let's say above one year of age, we can feel two pulses. 
one either the carotid just like adult i take my two finger or one finger on the midline on the middle of the neck and i slowly slide it in the muscle groove and try to feel for the carotid pulse for 10 seconds right so i am trying to feel carotid in children number of times it is difficult to palpate carotid then we can go for femoral also so how do i palpate the femoral pulse P between pubic bone and the hip bone prep clinic dream beyond